Hey, what's going on, people that I'm acknowledging and will never see? Today, we're here to talk about art. Now, luckily, it's not that kind of art we're talking about. We're talking about the Android runtime. What the heck is it? Why does it matter? Uh, where did it come from? When did it come from where it came from? Uh, these are questions that should be answered in this video. My goal is to basically take this concept and just crunch it down and make it easier for the average person, average consumer to understand because I get it. Not everybody is a nerd like me and like probably many of you watching this video. Just something that's generally useful for not only consumers but people as technology advances to know. So let's get to it. So what is art? I think it's important to start with what is Dalvik. Basically, it's the part of your phone or the part of the operating system rather that makes op uh, operations and applications work. When you click your little application icon on your phone, uh, the Dalvik runtime says, okay, let's start this program now. We're gonna compile it. We're gonna get it going. All right, now you can use it. Now, what's the problem with this? Now, there isn't necessarily a problem per se, but relative to say other OS's and the art runtime, uh, it's slow. Why does this matter? Whenever you click that little button, you're saying, all right, well, I wanna run the program now. So let's compile, let's get everything going. Okay, all right, we're ready. Now what the art runtime tries to do is say, all right, you installed this program, we're gonna compile it for you so that whenever you wanna use it, it's there. You don't have to compile it. That's exactly what it does, something it does pretty damn well and significantly increases not only performance, but from a theoretical aspect, should definitely increase, say, battery life and performance. Because if your phone CPU or whatever, but in this case, phone CPU is using less resources to start a program every time, theoretically, you would say battery life would increase, right? And it does. It's not as dramatic as you might think, but it does. Now, there are a couple drawbacks with this. One, when you're installing a program, it's going to take a little bit, 5-10 seconds more to install. Not a big deal. It's going to take up a couple more megabytes to install because, like we said, it's pre-compiling. You don't have to worry about it doing it every single time. Are they huge drawbacks? Not really. But they're there for people who want to nitpick. You know, there's going to be those people. So why has this not been implemented the whole time? Uh, I don't really know. It's something that Google's been working on for the past couple years kind of behind closed doors. So I want to give you a little demonstration in the coming uh, seconds here of it in action because it really not only makes the Android experience snappier, but uh, it just makes sense to do. There's a lot of practical uses to it and we were blessed that uh, technology is advancing so fast and that we really don't have much of a problem with lag anymore on Android, let's be honest with you. Uh, occasional skins like say Samsung's are so bogged down that yeah it's there, but all in all it's not too bad. So this is something that Google has introduced in 4.4 KitKat, and while it's there, uh, I would consider it to be, and I would say Google would consider it to be also in a beta stage. So it's going to work, but it's not going to work with all your applications. Uh, it might be a little buggy, but overall you're probably going to have a pretty decent experience. So just as kind of a general recap, what is art? Art is something that's going to compile your apps, your programs, uh, your information. It's just going to have it pre-done for you. That way, whenever you click the icon, you don't need it to start up that whole process again, take up the tiny bit more of CPU usage. It just makes it a much snappier and much more positive experience, which is really noticeable. Uh, I have the G2, which is already a very fast phone to begin with, running stock Cyanogen Mod 11. Um, and even with art, or without art, it's fast, but with art, it's just screaming. So I'll quit the chit chat and uh, let's get to showing you the real difference between the two. Now I know that wasn't the best side-by-side -side comparison, my battery died and I had to decide either to wait a couple hours, okay not that long, wait like an hour for it to charge and then do it again but by then the light would be out um, or just cut it short. So just keep special note of the first two apps, especially Chrome Beta, I gave Dalvik a head start and Art still pulled ahead, so that's pretty cool. I can just see it coming now, people are going to be saying, well that was the worst video ever Peter, you didn't teach me a whole lot. That's not the purpose of this video. 
I watched a series of other videos, did a little reading, just to try to like get the general uh, gist of what exactly this whole concept is, and I wanted to compartmentalize it for the general average consumer, just because I think it's something that's useful to know, not because I think everybody needs to have a coding knowledge or developer level knowledge. I just think stuff like this is useful to know because it's the future of the platform. Um, and honestly, that's how some other platforms work anyway. So it's kind of neat. If you have any other questions, you know what to do. Um, I did get a lot of my information from Phone Buff's video. I say a lot of it, but a chunk of it. So I'll put that down below so you can check it out. <clears throat> it was pretty good. I have another series of videos that I'm working on now. And, uh, I hope that you enjoyed this in some way, shape, or form. Feel free to give me any sort of support, whether it be a like, subscribe, share, whatever you want to do. I don't care. Some sort of some sort of support is cool. And feel free to give me some sort of feedback too, whether it's positive, something you think I did right that you like, negative, something I can improve on, please let me know, or even if it's just a thought. Let me know that too. I appreciate that more than you know because that's that helps me get better. So that's it for today. Um, like I've said about 12 times by now, thanks for watching, appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video.